So in order to keep this joint from getting bound up when forming a solid rivet, you don't want the, the stampings to pinch each other like so. So what we're gonna do is when we fixture it, we're gonna, we're gonna grab the rivet to hold it central to the power head with a V-block and we're gonna clamp the rivet from the other opposite side into a V-block. But we're also gonna use the V-block to support the stampings up higher so that when we form against it, it can't collapse down and pinch the other piece of the stamping. We're also going to, well, the, the stamping geometry is already forcing a gap, but we, we if the, if the fitment was tighter, we could just put the anvil underneath the rivet a little bit shorter in order to force a gap into the assembly. So no matter how hard we form up here and form against here, we're, form, we're transferring the force from here to here to the, to the B block instead of to the assembly and forcing a gap in the assembly. So once we're done forming, no matter what you do, it'll swing free. So are we gonna have to shave some of the material off the top? Yeah, the, um, the customer gave us these rivets extra long so that we could play with the length of it to find out exactly what length creates the best form for them. Um, it was easy for them to find the, a longer rivet that was quickly available to do the development. And then once we design how long it needs to be, we'll give them th that information and they can order rivets that are proper. Awesome.